What is going on guys, Bisectatron here, bringing you today's video, and we are taking a look at some crazy attacks. This first attack, guys, 85% of the troops deployed are not going to die. That is how powerful this strategy is. You know I've uh, put it out on the channel before. This is the super witch strategy. We're looking at this, we're looking at some other top attack strategies. I've covered them a bit uh, on the channel in the past, we're going to look at some different bases and just really, uh, you know, do justice to how strong these strategies are. But we are looking at five healers, four super witches, none of which are going to die this entire attack. Pretty crazy stuff. The king is going to go down. That's kind of a given when you're using him to funnel. But um, besides that, really not much is going to die. Maybe a couple wizards, a few hogs from the siege barracks. Uh, we're talking 85, probably close to 90% to be honest. I did kind of a quick math on it, but um, the uh, I didn't take into account the siege barracks and a bunch of those wizards survived. So really, probably close to about 90% of the troops used are not going to die this attack. It just shows how powerful this strategy is. Your biggest enemy is really time. If you guys haven't seen me uh, show this on the channel before, basically it's just a small warden walk leading into a smash with super witches, then a delayed siege barracks that's going to um, deploy hogs kind of on one of the flanks. The hogs go around to use a heal spell on them. Um, and the hogs in the siege barracks add another dimension because it adds more damage to help clean up faster with the P.E.K.K.A. and the wizards. Also the hogs can kind of reach those defenses that are hiding in little places the super witches can't reach as easily. So um, one of the super witches up over on the, uh, the right side, uh, the rest of them are still up in the middle there. It's just really too easy with this strategy against certain bases. One of the things I'm going to tr try to touch on in this video is how you should set up bases to defend some of these extremely strong strategies, making Town Hall 11 and 12 particularly very easy in my opinion. Uh, Town Hall 13 we're going to take a look at briefly, but it is um, it is not as, as easy, I feel, as these other two Town Hall levels in today's video. Uh, let's go back down to Town Hall 11, then we'll work our way up uh, in the next few attacks. Focusing uh, these first two are attacks of my own. Guys, this strategy is extremely powerful, and once again, I have shown it on the channel before. This is a variation of it that I'm doing. Uh, two healer queen walk, and then we have those nice zap quakes. Um, love getting you guys with the sound effect there. But the... Uh, the zap quakes on the inferno towers to take those out they're the biggest threat to the witches obviously um so getting those down right away especially when they're kind of isolated and um you can create a nice funnel uh in this case for the two healer queen walk which is kind of cool and also the e dragon um is going to kind of help funnel everything else basically we're all heading towards the eagle that's the main uh thing tr that we're trying to get now that the infernos have been neutralized uh, using the, the lightning spells. So the queen is gonna, I think, die because I had to, um, I didn't drop the golem early enough. So the queen's gonna go down. The idea, uh, as I've talked about before, is using the um, the golems to tank the eagle. That E-drag got a nice chain damage on those four expos. Uh, really liked that. Um, but really using the golems to tank the eagle until it goes down. So if you're a defender, it's so important that you put your eagle in the middle of the base now because otherwise people are going to zap down both your infernos take out the eagle uh, on the front end as was the case here and what's left is not going to be able to defend against everything that's coming in this case the siege barracks with some more witches in it um, just a ton of damage coming at the base it's going to be a little bit too much the heal spell was even wasted it could have been a jump or a rage the idea behind a heal spell is that you drop it if your witches are getting low because oftentimes you don't use any healers at all in this attack strategy but um sometimes a jump or a rage is better it just just depends uh but i see the reason people bring heal spells it, it makes sense uh so the warden's ability is going to be used to kind of cover up over the cc and some of that other damage coming out and just kind of power our way through here um but like i said if you're a town hall 11 and you're building your bases put your eagle in the middle because that is going to be your best way to defend this strategy is have an eagle that's difficult to reach 
people aren't going to have any spells. They might be able to use the wall wrecker, but if you are creative with how you build your base, the wall wrecker won't even be a sure thing for getting to the core of your base. So um, just think about that as your base building, that the infernos might just be zapped down. They might just charge your eagle with a bunch of witches. How's your base going to hold up against that? So um, anyway, this strategy, like I said, typically uses golems. It doesn't have an e-dragon or a he or any healers, but this is a nice variation I did just to kind of create funnels and make everything converge on the eagle. So you can be creative with these strategies. It's not a cookie cutter army uh, at all. Okay, let's move on to uh, number nine, back up to Town Hall 12 as we started. Um, this is the Super Witch, a variation I really like um, against this type of base. Uh, zap quake on the inferno towers very similar to town hall 11 the difference here is this instead of witches we're using super witches um, and a wall wrecker to push to the town hall uh, you can see that the there's one super witch on each side actually to create the funnel behind a golem and also paired up with a wizard so it's kind of a cool technique here um, that is being used you, the Super Witch is very reliable, not going to die easily, um, has the range needed to create a funnel deep enough to push the other Super Witches into the base, and of course it helps that there's so much dead space around these Inferno Towers that really one big funnel is being made, and as we see Witches being used more and more at both these Town Hall levels, it's clear that funneling is still the most important uh, technique you're going to have to learn in and use as a attacker um, it's a game of funnels really that is how attack any attack is about how well you can funnel um, if you break it down far enough so in this case awesome funnel wall wrecker opening up all those layers that are needed to get to the town hall uh, but first going through the eagle couple freezes just to prevent uh, too much damage from coming in even with how good the funnel was like I said the super witches are so tricky to funnel um, sometimes and there's gonna be two of them going around the outside but the good news is there's enough inside the base that um, that really doesn't matter uh, the town hall will still go down with the help of uh, the troops that are inside including ice golem Pekka from the CC and sometimes it actually helps a little bit to have one or two super witches on the outside um, which will allow the base to be taken out quicker uh, just because you can often run out of time with this strategy and um, having stuff more spread out, having a few troops on the outside, is going to take out the base uh, that much quicker. So we will fast forward because there is a bit of cleanup to do. Still has the Queen's ability. Um, this is, I think, one of the best variations of the Super Witch. Uh, right up there next to the, the strategy that I showed at the beginning, which is kind of my go-to. The healer uh, on the Super Witch with the delayed siege barracks. This is also a great one to use if you can get the wall wrecker to get you some good value especially all right so let's take a look at town hall 13 don't want to leave you guys without one of those um we are kind of departing from the witch here to take a look at just another attack that's using this lightning spell that is really just so versatile with all these different attack strategies and in this case it's not like a huge investment but taking out um a few things. First of all, I mean, there's a, there's a couple reasons why this is such a good use of it. Um, getting several very important defensive buildings, including the Inferno Tower and the Scatter Shot, that alone is good value. Plus a good funnel value, that's going to help everything kind of push towards the Eagle and not um, get distracted coming out towards this compartment. So it's also a funnel, and it's also going to help the Warden walk because um, all he has to do is take out a couple layers. Um, so really, as I've said in videos in the past, everything kind of builds on itself uh, in these these attacks that are successful. You tend to notice that you know the first uh, operation leads into the next one. Everything sets up that next step of the attack. So the lightning spells set up the warden to set up the main push uh, into the base here, and then that's going to set up a nice use of the royal champion to kind of come in with the siege barracks and um, help out those hogs. Uh, great combination, Siege Barracks of Hogs plus Royal Champion. Uh, that, that is a very tried and true way to uh, take out a big portion of a base. If you have a heal spell, it's even better. No heal spell was allotted uh, here, 
but still gonna get good value before all those hogs get blown up so good stuff there everything pushing through and um, a ton of troops left up on the back end to kind of help out as the uh, um, royal champion kind of comes around the uh, right side of the screen here so that I mean there it is guys these strategies are kind of what's dominating at these town hall levels especially town hall 11 town hall 12 uh, we're seeing the witches and super witches taking over I know I've covered it in a video or two in the past but I wanted to put one more out there really showing how powerful this is because I feel like um, it's still being underused compared to how uh, good it is for the current state of the game and how much people should be using it but um, in future videos, I'll try to get back to some more base building tips for you guys and cover some other strategies that are working well. Had the same IP, show a few more of these uh, awesome attacks. But thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. And um, be sure to uh, check out the Patreon if you want to uh, see some, uh, ha have a chance to get some bases that can hopefully defend these strategies. Something I've been working on lately is how are we going to defend all these powerful strategies. There are ways, which I've covered a little bit in this video, um, when it comes to Town Hall 12, it's uh, it's probably even trickier, but you got to make it difficult to path into the core of your base with Super Witches or another type of spam attack um, by really making the core not have a whole lot of value in it, um, in a nutshell. But that's all I'm going to say in this video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all next time. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoy my content, consider supporting the channel by entering my creator boost code, bisect, in the settings tab of your game, and keep in mind it occasionally resets and must be re-entered. Click or tap for another video and be sure to subscribe. See you all next time, Bisectatron out.